Happy Vlogmas everyone! Hi everyone, welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland and Vlogmas Day 4! I'm still so excited, can you tell? <laughs> um, so, yesterday, if you watched our Vlogmas video, you will know that one of our elves went missing. When Brooke came in from school, she didn't notice anything. I hadn't been in the kitchen and then I went to make dinner and I was like, there's something different there. And uh, I shouted on Brooke and sure enough, yeah, one of the elves is missing. And Brooke looked everywhere and couldn't find him and just had to resign herself to the fact that we need to wait and see what naughtiness is up to. So we were both hoping that he would appear again today. Let's see if he did. I wonder if Jingle will be back. In the kitchen. In the craft room. No? No, oh, they all disappeared. Yay! We'll get peace. They're there. Oh. What are they doing? Put the light on. Jingle's not here. Jingle's not here? What are they doing? Jingle is there. <gasps> Jingle's elf isolating for 14 days. <laughs> That's why he disappeared yesterday. He must have been getting a COVID test. <laughs> oh, poor Jingle. Does that mean that I've got one less to worry about for the next two weeks? Hooray! Oh, 14, poor Jingle. 14 oh. boring days till freedom. 14, but oh, that's normally the Christmas countdown that they bring us. It normally says naughty days till Christmas. So we're going to have to count down these boring days till freedom. Oh, poor Jingle. And at least Spud is being careful. He's got his mask on. And Elsa. Mistletoe, have you got a mask on? Yes. The babies, look. They've spilled hand gel everywhere. I take it reindeer don't need to wear masks. No. Oh, poor Jingle. That's a shame. Mm. So yes, Jingles did appear again and the poor wee elf is having to elf isolate for 14 days. He must have been away getting a Covid test, I think. Um, it's a sign of the times this year, isn't it? Having to elf isolate, they've all got their masks on, they've all got the hand gel and they did spill a lot of the hand gel all over the worktop as well, I have to say. But yeah, so 14 days, that poor elf is going to be stuck in that box. I just noticed when Brooke was going out to school there that he's got his jammies on and he's in his sleeping bag. Poor Jingles. <laughs> the countdown that he's brought with him is the countdown that it usually naughty days until Christmas, but he's changed it to boring days until freedom. So we will count them down with him, won't we? And hopefully he will enjoy himself. Not too much when he gets out. I hope he doesn't make up for lost time. So yeah, that was the elves this morning and then it was time for the advents. Let's have a look. Uh, Hello big girl, look at her holding on under the log, that is so cute. <laughs> look at the size of her now. She's huge. She's holding on to the log, look. Mm -hmm. What have we got today? Is that number three? What's Abby got? What's Brooke got? What's Abby got? What's Brooke got? What you oh. got? What is it? Gingerbread jingle. Gingerbread jingles. Hand cream. Hand and nail set. Is a that? Brush. Is it? Oh right, two seconds. Is that gingerbread lady a nail file? Yeah. <laughs> and hand cream. That is so cool. That is pretty cool. What you got, Brooke? A brush with that. Oh, ooh. A brush with a B for Brooke. Oh, Rana. Rana saying good morning to Abby. Abby can't move. <laughs> Giant dog problems. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're such a sweet boy. Ranuk is now cuddling me in case you wonder what the heavy breathing is. Right. You're a boy. You going to get your in between there's one? <laughs> is it choking? That's what you do to a baby if they're choking. Is it a sticker? Whatever it is, it was stuck to the box. Yeah, I think it's a sticker, maybe turn it over. Is that Slytherin? Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Oh yeah. Is it a sticker? 
Mm, it's like a cling type thing. Hopefully you'll get a slither and thing soon. Mm. <laughs> right, what's Abby got today? What saying have we got that I don't understand? It was a Christmas tree. Chocolate. Right. The saying is, she's already seen the crown jewels. She's already seen the crown jewels now, I do get that one. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So is the, I didn't realise the chocolates were in shapes. Yeah. Oh, Molly. Hi. Molly, you've been with Abby all night. Hi. You'd think you hadn't seen her for a week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my day three here from Laura and I have got my Milky Bar advent calendar which I'm still loving. Right, what am I going to guess today? Where is it first of all? Number three is there. I'm going to guess it's a reindeer picture and a snowman chocolate. Let's see. Oh no! It's the Milky Bar kid! Yay! And he's got a Christmas stocking. Right, let's see what the chocolate is. Oh, it's Bobbles! It's Christmas baubles, can you see that? There's one bauble and there's a wee pointy bauble. Oh, very nice. I'm absolutely loving all the little envelopes that she's made. Look at the paper, I love the candy canes. And the candy canes are actually glittery, they've got raised glitter on them. So, so gorgeous. Let's see, now the envelope is open but I haven't peeked. They're just so full, look. Laura's just been so generous with everything that goes in it. So, let's have a proper look. Oh, now it's shut. Right, let's take a look at all these goodies. Of course, whoops. Of course, we have to start with the chocolate. Chocolate coins. That takes me back to my childhood. I used to love getting a bag of chocolate coins in my stocking. Oh, yum, yum. Oh, look how delicate that is. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. Little shell die cut. Oh, that is beautiful. Another little delicate die cut, gorgeous silver butterfly. That is so sweet. I love butterflies. That's gorgeous as well. Little journal tag or a little tag, little label. A to-do list, I do love a to-do list. Right, I have to, I'm sorry, but I have to go straight in for the cat. Would you look at that? Oh, it is gorgeous. A lovely decoupaged pussy cat. Absolutely gorgeous, a wee grey tabby. I used to have a cat very similar to that. I miss having a cat around. I would love to get another cat. <laughs> oh, look, look at the little raccoon. Oh, it's painting. That is so sweet. What does this say? Oh, I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. That is so nice. And I do, I appreciate all of you. I really do appreciate all my viewers, especially at this time of year, getting to chat to you all and... I just, I just love it. <gasps> look! Look at those gift boxes. They're so glittery. Wow. And look at that. That is just absolutely gorgeous, that heart. Look at it. Look how delicate it is. All the beadwork there and then the wire going right around it. That is so good. That's really, oh, it's got a mesh over it as well. That is beautiful, Laura. That is so well done. That is really, really nice. Oh, I'm loving everything again, Laura. Thank you so much. Thank you. The girls were pleased with everything they got, so and so was I. So we're all good. So were the dogs. Um, so now it is time for you to see the rest of the weekend that you started watching yesterday. We went to the Christmas market yesterday. So in today's Vlogmas, I'm going to show you what happened on the Sunday. Enjoy. Hello again. It is 25 past one and I'm back from Asda and I've put everything away apart from a few bits and pieces that I wanted to show you. I was feeling very festive, as you've maybe gathered. I'm in a very festive mood this weekend. And we were listening to Christmas songs all the way there. And I was thinking, I really should be getting myself a new Christmas jumper because I'm pretty sure I threw last year's one out last year because I think I've had it for two years and it was getting a bit tight, shall we say. 
So when we went into Asda, I thought, right, I'm going to go to George and see if they've got any Christmas jumpers. And lo and behold, they had a 20% off all of their um, like knitwear, woolly things, hats, scarves, gloves, things like that. And I was like, oh, that's rather handy. So let me show you what I got. I did treat myself to a Christmas jumper and I deliberately got it big because I'm loving the oversized feel just now. It's just so comforting and warming and snuggly. I just love it. So I almost, there was loads to choose from. There was Disney ones, there was um, light up ones, there was subtle ones and there was two that I was really torn between. And they were both £16, which meant they had £3.20 off them. The price was good, and I thought, what one will I go for? And the first one that I had picked up, it was a penguin and a polar bear, I think, on top of each other, and there was a wee pom-pom. And it was gorgeous. It was grey, and you know I love grey. But then, when we went round the corner a bit, I spotted this, and Brooke went, oh, you need to get that one instead. So I did. Wait till you see this. Oh, I just love it. Now, it's not grey. But it's a gorgeous sort of pinky peach colour. And look, look, look at the doggy. How beautiful is that? It is a little Dalmatian dog with a red scarf on, looking up at a Dalmatian tree with red bubbles. And the tree's got a rose gold star on it and the Dalmatian's got a rose gold crown on him. And I just think it is so beautiful. And the star is sequins. In fact, the star and the crown are sequins. Hold on, I'll, I'll hold them closer up so you can see. See how glittery sequins they are. Ah! And it's the same with the wee doggy's crown. There's the wee doggy's crown. So gorgeous. And yes, I got it in an extra large, which is a 20 to 22 because I just thought it's perfect for snuggling. It means that I can layer it up, I can put layers under it. Hello! You still got your mask on? Well. <laughs> um, yeah, so Brooke picked this, didn't you? Well, yeah. Oh, and do you want to model what you chose? So I wanted this Christmas jumper and while I was looking, um, Brooke spotted a hat and she just went, oh my God, I just fell in love with that hat. That was her exact words. It is meant to be a lady's hat rather than a kid's, but it will fit her because she's got a big head. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fix it properly. Oh, look. Let them see the pom-pom, put your head down a bit. Oh, that is gorgeous. <laughs> so yes, that is the hat. Isn't it gorgeous? It's got the big furry pom-pom on it and it is fleece lined as well. So it will keep her nice and warm. This was six pounds for this hat. So, and again, it had the 20% off it, so that made it, what, £4.80? So, yeah, result. I think it's fab. Then, I deliberately went looking for this because I saw it on Tracy's channel, The Mad Scots Lass. And, you know me, I'm a sucker for a mug. I'm an even bigger for... I nearly said a sweary word there. I'm an even bigger sucker for... <laughs> you can just figure out what I was going to say there, eh? I'm an even bigger sucker for, that was close again, Christmas mugs, which I know I've got lots of, but you can never have too many, and even better, gingerbread men. So look, look at that mug. Ah, lots of little gingerbread men. It was only a pound, folks, and that was why I went looking for it, because when I saw it on Tracy's channel, I thought, oh, that's gorgeous, and then when she said it was a pound, I went, I need that in my life. And it's microwave and dishwasher proof as well, so win-win. Yay, I love it. Isn't that just so, 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 so cute? Me happy gingerbread men. What makes you happier? Can you see a bit of a gingerbread theme with me this year? I mean, it's a big theme everywhere this year. It's like gingerbread's just exploding, which is a good thing because you can never have too much gingerbread. So this isn't festive, but I haven't seen it before. It's Kit Kat chocolate hazelnut spread flavour. Oh yeah. So I had to get that to try. I've got no idea what they'll be like, but I'm thinking Kit Kat crossed with Nutella. Yes. I do like the sound of that combination. 
I was looking for the porridge that I showed you yesterday, the winter vanilla or whatever it was called, but they didn't have any that I could see. But they were doing a good deal on their Quaker Oat So Simple. I think it was £2.75, £2 £2.75 each or two for £3. So I thought, result. So what I did was I got a Sultana's Raisins Cranberry and Apple. I know that in itself isn't overly festive, but that with some of that gingerbread syrup that I had on my pancake today, which today was amazing. I think that will make it nice and Christmassy. And sweet cinnamon. And cinnamon is always festive. And I thought some of that with the a drizzle of the winter spice chop shot that I showed you yesterday will be delicious as well. You've probably seen them before, either on other people's channels or on mine, but I thought I would show you them anyway. Ah, oh, look! Reindeer crumpets. Now, I know, I'm pretty sure Rachel showed them, Hey Bales has showed them, and I'm not sure if Tracy the Mad Scots last showed them or not, but yay, reindeer crumpets. Now, it was Christmas trees last year. I don't know whether they'll get Christmas trees in near of the time or whether they're sticking with the reindeer, but I just love them. We all love crumpets anyway, and when they're festive shaped, even better. And Brooke said that she's pretty sure that the elves might end up bringing her a, a North Pole breakfast as well that's got this in it, which is very possible. You just never know with these elves. I think I've showed these before. I love these. The iced mince pies from Asda are, in my very humble opinion, the best mince pies you can get just now. And I've tried a lot of them. I love mince pies. I especially love iced mince pies. And the Asda's ones are by far the best that I've tried. I've tried them from the co-op, wasn't keen. Tried them from Tesco, they were okay. Asda's are amazing. It's a biscuit caramel Viennetta. Now, I love Viennetta, good old fashioned. And one of the reasons it makes me think of Christmas is when I was young, that's what we had as a Christmas treat. We didn't have like lots of mince pies or Christmas puddings and things. But when it was coming up to Christmas, we would get a Viennetta. And if we were really lucky, it would be a mint Viennetta. Oh, and you just knew that was the treat. That was your festive treat. But I thought biscuit caramel, it makes me think of Biscoff and oh, I am desperate to try that. Brooke saw these and had to get them. Four reindeer ice cream lollies. Again, I've seen these on someone's channel, I'm sure. Maybe Rachel again. Oh, so good, but only a pound. Well, the Viennetta was only a pound as well, by the way. Um, a pound for four reindeer ice lollies and it's caramel chocolate and strawberry flavoured ice cream. They had Christmas trees as well but Brooke went for the reindeer. I could not resist this gingerbread cheesecake. Oh, how delicious does that look? It says, baked cheesecake on a ginger biscuit base with speculoos. What's speculoos? Filling topped with vanilla flavoured cream, dark chocolate decorations and crumbled biscuits. Like I said, I'm all about the gingerbread. It says it's ready in three hours and it serves ten. <coughs> yeah, right then. <laughs> serves ten. Um, I mean, it's a good size. It's 800 grams. It was three pounds for that, but it is a big, heavy cheesecake. So can't wait to break that out at Christmas. I'm not going to get stuck into that just now. I will leave it till nearer Christmas. Maybe Christmas Eve, actually, when we're watching Christmas movies. And these last two things you've seen before on this channel, but I just love them, so I had to show them again. The Dairy Milk Winter Gingerbread. Love it, love it, love it. Very difficult to find. I can't find it in B&M anymore. I've not seen it in Home Bargains, and I've not seen it in the Pound Shop. Right now, Asda's the only place I've found it, and it's only beside all the festive um, sweets and biscuits in the actual festive aisle. They've not got it beside all their normal chocolate. So if you are looking for it, look at the festive aisle at Asda and it's a pound for the bar, but it is so good. Just dairy milk with pieces of gingerbread through it. Oh, really nice. And lastly, but definitely not least, my gingerbread digestives. Love them. Chocolate digestives with a beautiful gingerbread flavour. So that's everything that I got from Asda. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to, because I'm still feeling festive, I'm going to get into my craft room and make that all Christmassy. Because going to put my Christmas jumper on now. Ta-da! What do you think? Love it, love it, love it! 
plenty of room. It is very oversized, but that is exactly what I was looking for. I just love it. Oh, it feels so Christmassy. I am also going to put a Christmas movie on. I've been so looking forward to this coming out and it comes out today, which is handy. Dolly Parton's new Christmas film. I know, I know, Dolly Parton, but I love her. Um, Christmas on the Square, it's called, and it looks great. I loved her other Christmas film. Was it Christmas Angels or something it was called? So I'm going to put that on while I am decorating. Well, it's still a work in progress, but it's four o'clock. I'm knackered and I need to feed the puppies. But I thought I would just show you where I'm at just now. So up here I have got my diamond painting which isn't sparkling too much because of the rubbish white but um i did that one last year i think it's a, a partial diamond painting and i love it santa going down the chimney and down there is the christmas tree that i did now that's a pixel art that isn't diamond painting um but i still like it anyway and what is better than a gingerbread candle two gingerbread candles <laughs> That's the one that I got this year. This is the one that I've just found that I had last year. They smell slightly different, but I have to say the one from last year is still smelling really, really strong. So yeah, I thought, why not light the two of them? Over here, I have got my flashing Christmas tree that I got from Cherries, I believe. And I've got my two little polar bear tea lights beside that that I also got from Cherries. I've got my Have Yourself a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year tree that I had here last year as well. I have got my snowman and my Christmas tree diamond art lamps that I made last year. Middle of that, my stag, which also lights up and it's got glitter that sort of floats around in there as well. But I've ran out of batteries, so I'm going to have to get more batteries. Now, I forgot to show you these in my last vlog when we were in B&Q. But I also got these sensicles scented decorations it's basically sticks that go on your christmas tree and they have got different scents i got the cinnamon one because why not it's a dark green color and the smell is amazing it's so strong of cinnamon and it comes with little hooks to attach it to your tree i can't remember how much they were but it wasn't a lot of money um, and that was being q if anybody fancies it over here we've got things that didn't quite survive um, we have got, now I love this, I got this from b and I think it was last year, however, one of the dogs must have got to it before it was put away last year and either I haven't noticed or someone's put it in the box without me noticing so that I wouldn't crack up. <laughs> so yeah, it hasn't quite made it. And the other thing that didn't quite survive was my lovely wreath. The deer has came off. Um, I should be able to hot glue that back on, but look, one of the baubles is smashed. And if I was to take that off, the whole thing would come off. So I am not binning it because, like I say, I'm a crafty person. I will do something to recycle it. I might turn it into another wreath and use the other decorations elsewhere. I'm not sure yet. And up there is my Mrs. Claus outfit that I found that I wore last year for the Vlogmas intro and also for the Candy Cross when I was marshalling the Christmas race. Um, up there I've got the another wreath. I think someone made that for my mum um, and that will probably be going in the living room. I'm not sure what I'll do with that. I just hung it on the door just now. Over here I've got the Christmas blanket that I wore in the pantomime last year. Um, I wore that on my knee as the old lady narrator and I've just put that up to hide the craft cubes. In here I've got my little Christmas tree. Now I do need to get some lights for it. I've just wrapped some tinsel around the bottom and hanging on it I've got some diamond art decorations that I made. They're actually meant to be key rings but you can also use them as tree decorations. How cute! And you'll see them better once I've got lights on the tree as well and I need to make a star and I might make some other little decorations for there as well. Onto the couch. This is the Christmas blanket that Granny Annie bought me from George Asda this year. And remember when I got it, I was like, I can't remember if I've already got that or not. But this is the one from last year. So it's very similar, but different. So it's still sausage dogs with scarves on, still grey. And there's still Christmas trees, but it's a different pattern. So I like that. I like having the two of them that are the same, but different. And I've got the jingle all the way cushion there, which... I don't know how well it's going to sit there because the dogs do like to jump up on that couch and it might just keep getting knocked off. This is the sign that I showed you 
was it earlier than this vlog? Yesterday, I think. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas that Jack got me from eBay. And I did think it looked familiar. And the reason for that is, that's the one that I had last year. <laughs> it's exactly the same, just a different colour. So I decided to put them on the wall, both on the wall at the two different sides with the snowman wreath that Jack bought that in Home Bargains, I believe. I don't think it was very expensive, but I think it looks lovely. So I decided to put that in the middle and the two Christmas trees on either side. And I've just hung, that's the antlers that me and Brooke were wearing for the Vlogmas intro last year. Um, I just put them on there for somewhere to put them just now. Over on the printer, I've got two deer. Now that silver deer, that was just wooden and we sprayed it silver last year. That was a bit of a casualty as well. The antlers broke, they snapped in the middle, but Brooke has used her hot glue gun on them and so far it's sticking fine. And standing down beside it is the wee one that I got from Poundland um, this year. So I think the two of them are lovely standing there together. So yeah, that is the way that my craft room is looking just now. Very festive and it's going to make me very motivated to come in tomorrow and get on with some Christmas crap. Right, now it's time for my favourite part of Vlogmas, the crazy Christmas karaoke. <laughs> Still getting a great response, thank you very much. And so far nobody's got any wrong, so we're doing good. I'm definitely going to have to make it harder, I think. Yesterday's was a bit harder, so it'll be interesting to find out when I read all the comments today how many people got it right. So, yesterday's was Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight Walking in a winter wonderland So it was we're happy tonight was yesterday's answer Today's song's a bit of fun Inspired by my antlers The song is Grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking home from our house Christmas Eve You can say there's no such thing as Santa But Tricky? Fun, but tricky Some of the words to that song are brilliant If you've ever actually listened to them, it's hilarious You should never give a license to a man who drives a sleigh and plays with elves I just love that line, I think it's hilarious <laughs> Grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking home from my house Christmas Eve Oh, well, it doesn't like my singing. <laughs> no. You can say there's no such thing as Santa But mm 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 So fill in the blanks in the comments below, please. Right, so that is everything from today's Vlogmas. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please don't forget to talk to me in the comments below. I am loving reading all your comments and replying to them all. I love the fact that you can all tell how excited I am for Christmas because I genuinely am so excited for Christmas. And I'm just loving the fact that you're all just so nice and enjoying watching the elves and seeing the girls opening their advents, I'm just loving it. And I'm loving watching everybody else's Vlogmas as well. I'm a little behind, I'm going to have to try and catch up. But yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. If you're don't doing Vlogmas, and I don't know, like maybe I don't know that you've got a channel. If you're doing Vlogmas, please comment down below and let me know and I will head over and watch it because I just love Vlogmas. Right! I'm going to go now. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Please hit the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day. Five Vlogmas Days. <laughs> see you tomorrow, everyone. Bye. Remember to be kind to each other. Santa's watching.